Okay, so the head of the Metropolitan Police, Mark Rowley, was at the City Hall answering questions. Susan Hall, who's standing against Sadiq Khan, was asking certain questions about the recent protests and disruptions in London and other places. And uh, Mark Rowley was uh, defending the police throughout the last few weeks. Obviously, the police got a lot of criticism, right? Rightly so. But when it comes to the police officers removing posters, you've seen the, the Jewish uh, posters, the, the missing children and the hostages. They've been removing posters. By the way, it's not just in London, but also Greater Manchester and other places too. It's happening all at the same time across Europe, uh, Berlin as well. Um, he was saying, oh, there were a couple of isolated incidents. And he, he has some defense. He was saying, well, we're trying to be practical and balanced. But he's simply trying to... Um, distract the narrative because we're not really just talking about a couple of isolated incidents he was saying well we've also done it with the palestinian flags really the last main thing we saw was a couple of days ago when a, a working class man an english british man a, a, did a video posted on facebook uh, uh, being kind of a, a little bit frustrated that there are some palestinian flags in his on his light, uh, high street he didn't like it and uh, you arrested him instead of removing the palestinian flags what happened there you know, I'm not saying that you should have completely removed the flags or you should have done this. I'm just saying be consistent. Let's go to this video that we have of Mark Rowley defending his police service. It's very clear to um, Jewish communities in London are um, traumatised and upset and sometimes fearful based on events that have happened overseas and the, and the increase in hate crime in London. And that's an awful place for us to be as a capital city and we're doing everything we can do to tackle that. Um, I think there's a danger, though, that people um, don't read the facts of incidents and just get sucked into debates that are bouncing around on, on Twitter. We are being very balanced at dealing with issues that are potentially inflammatory on a very focused basis. So um, to be absolutely clear on these, on these campaigning um, posters, raising the sort of awareness of the kidnapped children, um, we are not as a general rule intervening in that. There's no reason we should do it. It's perfectly lawful. However, in one case, when it was highlighted to us by a community member that they've been placed on the shutters of a shop because there was a, a, a pro-Palestinian supporter who worked there, um, it had been placed on private premises and it was seen to be potentially inflammatory and the officers took a judgment, practical judgment on the day that actually a sensible thing was to remove them. Just as a week before, um, there'd been cases of um, Palestinian flags being placed in multiple places, one of which includes, and I think, a Jewish cemetery or war memorial. And again, the officer involved in saying, well, that, that seems to make sense to remove those. So they're taking pragmatic judgments that are completely symmetrical to deflate tension. There are some people in the social media world who aren't interested in facts and present that as a bias. That is not accurate. Yeah, I, I accept your officers are in a very difficult position. I've, I've absolutely no doubt that they are. But equally, and I'm not talking about the Twitter world or the social media world, I'm talking about the real world, Jewish, um, Jewish residents, Jewish Londoners particularly, are feeling very, very scared, very, very intimidated. They don't feel they can go out at the weekend, certainly to come into London. Um, now we've got sit-ins in stations, so that's making them very, very nervous as well. What practical steps can you actually take to assist the, the Jewish community who are very, very scared at the moment? I completely acknowledge that concern. I was answering, you asked a particular question about a particular incident, which is widely misunderstood, and that was the point I was answering. I completely accept that Jewish communities are really upset and traumatised by what's going on overseas and in the UK and are very anxious. We are doing two things. We are enforcing the law to the letter of the law. Um, the law on protest is really clear. It's very permissive. Um, and. Uh, we work to that letter. Parliament draws the line of the law, we enforce it. But beyond that, there are a lot of legal actions which are causing sort of concern and adding to that picture. We're doing everything we can to reassure. We're putting more patrols in communities, as I say. We're visiting synagogues regularly. We're visiting schools regularly. Um, we have a very positive relationship with the CST, the organisation that the, the Jewish organisation that helps with protection of, of, of yep. their community colleagues. So we're doing all of the things. Hang on. Can I just get it right? Did Mark Rowley blame uh, 2CTV and other uh, alternative media people for the failure of his own police officers? Um, <laughs> apparently it's our fault. 
I wish that Susan Hall, who was there questioning him, was a little bit more robust. I wish Susan Hall had done, uh, had been briefed better by her team and asked better questions. So I should hold them to account rather than just say, but are you going to be reassuring Jewish people who are scared in London? How's, what's that going to achieve? Of course, he's going to answer something that he's already prepared. We need proper leadership in London. We need proper leadership in the country and everywhere else. And, and political leadership, obviously, is, is a good start. And then you have to then reform the whole of the establishment from the Metropolitan Police and the BBC to Ofcom and Offset. Everything needs to be sorted out. We need common sense. And I don't want radicalism in that sense. I don't want a French Revolution before Mark Rowley sends his uh, minions uh, to knock on my door. I want common sense conservatism, conserve small c conservatism. I'm not even talking about Tory party. Just basic common sense, practical leadership. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maya 2C. And we are the media.